All right, y'all. So he is back home. <laughs> oh, Chanel's looking a little anorexia. It's just because she's already fit, and then this this um, bra set like really sucks people in. So, I don't really like the way she looked in that. <laughs> Let's clean up. So, I want him... Do you want to go on a date? Hey, Kobe, it's Sadie. Do you want to go on a date? Okay, why not? He's just terrible. He's like, bro, like, this girl... I've been messing with she pregnant like I be wrapping it up I be wrapping it up so I don't know why these hoes keep getting pregnant <laughs> like no accountability at all like why are you cheating on your girlfriend and why you have another girlfriend and you're not telling your new girlfriend that you have a girlfriend already it's a mess so, Miss Sadie Bomb, since when, <laughs> Miss Sadie girl, you supposed to be Taryn's friend, not you exhausted on the date. Oh my God, Lord, save her. So since when do we like, since when do we do this, flirt? Like why would you ask him on a date, Sadie? When you, let's see, I know for a fact he finds her attractive. <laughs> dad, dad. Okay, but I thought you had a boyfriend, Sadie. I don't really want them to go sit and eat and all that stuff. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm not even caring about that. But I just want y'all to see how terrible he is. And he got his girls at home. She at her house. She at his house. Like, what, Sadie's? What? You asked her. You asked him on the date. Dummy. It's, it's strange. This is strange. Because he asked her on the date. And I mean she asked him on the date. And. She asked him on the date. And. <laughs> what? Did you really just waste our time? Like, punch her in the face. Like, I know we shouldn't do this, but I really want to punch her in the face. I really just want to punch. I just want to punch her. Just be like, bro. Like, I'm angry. I'm sick of this stuff. Get the hell away from me. Stop talking to me. I'm going home. F this date. Yeah. Like, I just wanted to punch her in the face. Cause why would he? Why would she invite him out to dinner? <laughs> and then be like, oh, but like, don't flirt with me. Like that just doesn't make any sense. Like you wasted my time. I had stuff planned for this evening. Stupid girl. All right, y'all. We'll fast forward to next <laughs> evening when he gets off of work. All right, y'all. So, so I, it's still the same evening, but I really want her to, oh my God, he could, sh she could chew him out and throw a drink, but no, we're not going to do that. We're going to say relationship wellness. Okay. So she can't even say anything anymore about it because I wanted her to ask like closeness between him and Taryn and be like yeah bro like what the heck you guys are too close but no so I'm gonna have him 
Let's see what he can do with her. Relationship wellness. Like, I'm going to have him ask her. Ask her to start being on birth control. Because he's like, bro, like, I'm tired of all these girls getting pregnant not being on birth control. Like, I shouldn't be the only one, you know, in charge of. Oh, my God, why was he so tiny? I shouldn't be the only one in charge of contraception. Like, that's crazy. She's like, you know, like, where have you been? Like, I've been worried. And he's like, oh, I was just staying at my friend Ebony's house. Like, we're just friends. You know, she's just closer to my house. She's closer to my job. And we were hanging out, and I kept falling asleep. But I'm back now. And she's like, yeah, like, I've been cleaning the whole house. Like, Peyton has been here, and... You haven't been spending time with Peyton at all? Like, what's going on? Oh, my God. Hello, is anyone home? Oh, now he's going to be doing that all the time because he punched somebody in the face. Oh, God, what's happening? Very angry from being short-tempered. Um, let's see. Uh-oh, she can't even sleep because there's a, there's a demon spray the monster under the bed so look who's here she came in because she said she don't trust um she's dazed because she's um she's a little absent-minded but she says she doesn't trust him telling the truth to that woman so she's gonna tell it for him so she came up to the house and she's gonna tell chanel straight like that and Kobe, <laughs> Kobe's just like living his life. He's like, da 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 da. Not even realizing she's here. And then he's gonna come here. And then she's about to. She's gonna say, Sup, nigga. Uh, Sup, Sigga. <laughs> she's gonna talk to her. She said, oh, I don't know why they have that love meter right there, but, oh my god, she can't even do it. And where is he at? He's cleaning up a puddle. She's gonna share big news. She's gonna share big news like, yeah, like, I'm, um, his friend. I'm his friend, um, <laughs> like, she's not trying to be her friend, but she doesn't want to, she's not really cool with Kobe right now. She's like, yeah, like, I'm pregnant. She's like, yeah, I'm pregnant. And let's see what she could do. Relationship wellness. Admit to having woohooed with Chanel's partner. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Hold on. And look, Kobe just in here sleep like a dodo brain. Like he's stupid. Just stupid. Oh, Barb. Oh, she said whatever, girl. I don't even believe you. <laughs> she said she said I don't even believe you what she said embarrassed for admitting relationship Ebony did not expect a positive reaction to announcing to another sim that she left she slept with their partner and certainly did not get one no more secrets now whether couples break up or make up it soon will not be a worry of Ebony's period Ebony you better and then not her being attracted to Ebony I mean, not Ebony being attracted to um, Chanel. And then admit to being pregnant by Chanel's partner because <laughs> you are. It's like, yeah, dodo brain. He's a dodo brain. Oh, like, she really don't care. Like, she just keeps saying, like, whatever. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see. 
slip through my fingers. He's like literally doesn't even care. And she's saying unfaithful love from learning about cheating. Chanel's significant other has cheated on her. She thought the relationship was heading somewhere. And she is still the same. Nothing's different. Oh. She's like, it's not my fault that your nigga be in my guts. Like, he wanted this. He doesn't want you. Like, why haven't you gotten pregnant? But he got pregnant with me. For real. <laughs> She's like, I might be pregnant. But I will beat your booty. Uh, yup. Period. Yeah. She said you want to throw a drink? I'm going to throw a drink right back on you. Yeah, bitch. Fuck you. Alright. Go home. <laughs> She's like, Chanel's like, you're lucky you're pregnant, bitch. Because I murder you. Get the hell out of my house. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, so she's just mad at him, and he's just, like, sleeping. Like, he's literally just sleeping. Like, I just want you to sit down so that Chanel can punch you in the face. She's like, look at her. Oh, my God, the love's not even there anymore. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Let's see. Relationship wellness. So, okay, so what can she do now? She can, um, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. She can ask Kobe to sever ties with the sim he cheated with, ask reasons for cheating, um, yell at for cheating, threaten to break up, refuse to forgive for cheating. So we're going to yell at for cheating and then she's going to try she's gonna say to ask Kobe to sever ties with Sim he cheated on with and then and then he's she's going to ask for reasons she's gonna be like oh my god like why why what is it something I did like why wasn't I enough for you that's so sad people ain't shit the fact that this really happens um, yell at for cheating, threaten to break up, threaten to break up, and refuse to forgive for cheating. Alright. Yeah. Sorry, boo. Like, what is Miss Girl doing? Come and take, clean out the food. Did you do your homework? Freeze through homework. Oh, she got twenty thousand um, dollars for child support, and that's going right back to Taryn. Cause f him. <laughs> that's going right back to Taryn when I hang out with her. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, look, they're fighting. He said, "Boy, what do you mean?" I'm leaving this behind. I'm leaving them behind. Let's start over. You're my partner. Don't worry about them anymore. They're a thing of the past. Let's see. Forced to say goodbye. <laughs> ah, let's see. So, forced to say goodbye. Um, forced to say goodbye from being pushed to an affair. Kobe's partner asked him to put into his affair that's a logical conclusion to confessing to cheating really it so does it feel great doing the right thing really sucks sometimes uh kobe will get over and try to commit for real to this to this partner he is choosing over his lover i want to see if it's like something that happens and it just ends yeah Oh, so you're cutting ties with me because a partner of yours asked you to? Well, thanks for showing so little care about me. Stay with them then and never come knocking at my door again. Damn. Damn. Damn, kid. 
Is like, that ask, well, like, what were uh, the reasons, bro? Oh my God, you get to choose reasons. I love this one. <laughs> Mod is so great. Okay, explain reasons for having cheated. Staleness and boredom. Kobe just needed something new, something exciting. It's not that he does not love his partner. It's just the relationship, the life itself got to feel, uh, got to feel stale. They seduced Kobe and he failed to resist. Oh, bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> It's not that Kobe doesn't love his partner and doesn't find them attractive. It's just that the other Sim was very aggressive in their attempts to seduce him. And please. And what does it say? And seduce him. And he failed to resist a regrettable event with Kobe. Partially wishes he could undo. The woohoo doesn't satisfy Kobe. It's not Kobe's fault that in the end, his partner and him don't get along that well in bed. But it still leaves him looking around for something else. Hence the cheating. It's hard to make them that make sense to his partner, though. After all, Kobe still betrayed his partner's love trust instead of trying to improve things or simply break them off, honestly. Kobe craved more attention and affection. Kobe was intoxicated and it simply happened. Another, um, ooh, ooh, Kobe wants to be pregnant and Chanel is infertile. Oh my God. So that's a different, like if that was actually happening, Kobe questions his woohoo orientation. <gasps> like he was no love left between Kobe. Kobe cheated because he feels the love between them is dead. There has to be a way to bring back the passion and care that built this relationship. But do either of them have the heart to it for it anymore? And Kobe has shown already he'd rather just give up and look for love elsewhere. Hasn't he? Another reason, Kobe couldn't give a single reason why he cheated. It just happened. There there must have been a lot of little things adding up and adding up. Let's see. Cares about his partner. He knows that he cares about him. Not enough. He needs more attention. Intoxicated. I'm going to say staleness and boredom. Oh, God. Feels so boring. A mind-numbing row bladder fire and a little bit of adventure. <laughs> She's like, are you kidding me, bro? Gibbs, free nip. On its above. No buy. Quas nulch. Hand pay to Benahanu. That's like Jeff and Al. Quar the Daich. Cream nip. to break up. Charky Bina Zor. She says she's oh, never sure. forgiving you, bro. Oh. Let's see. Threaten to break up. We could threaten to break up with him again. Come on, not you falling asleep. It's giving it's given annoying. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all the things that they can do. And honestly. Yeah, that's it. That's all the things that they can do. So I'm going to have, what can he do? He can explain reasons for cheating, complain to have no regrets. Ooh, claim to have no regrets. He's definitely going to claim to have no regrets. And... And then he's going to break up with her. He's going to straight up break up with her and be like, you, they're going to break up. He's going to be like, you, boy, get the fuck out of here. What's your cereal? I don't, I don't care that I cheated, bro. And I'll cheat again. Yeah. And you told me that I have to, you know, break it off with her. And you're not going to forgive me for treating? Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of my house. Slipping through my fingers. 
So he's going to leave because he needs, she needs time to find a place to stay. Um, so Peyton's going to go back home and he's going to leave. <laughs> All right, y'all. So he is back here and he's going to try to ask for forgiveness. Let's see if this works. He's like. You know, I don't really want this kid. I don't want any more kids. Yes, you may. I'm a son. Apologize. Dimpish. 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 I don't think so, but I'm just going to allow him to do it one time, and if it doesn't go well. Oh. And things about interest. It's cool. Almost. Complain about problems. Ask for advice. Alright, y'all. So I'm not going to record myself doing this because it's probably going to take a while. Um, <laughs> we're going to have him work from home. All right, y'all, so I'm going to take the time to really get her on his side again, and I'll come right, right back. All right, y'all, so we are back at Miss Ebony's house. So she did forgive Kobe. Let's open the sim profile. They have a personal rift still. He does find her very attractive. He cheated on her, and they have a child together. And um, him and Ebony, extremely attractive, have a child together and <laughs> her they broke uh they're broken up they're a terrible match it's probably best to stay apart there's a lot of dislike there like a lot perceived as very attractive kobe cheated on chanel bitter about breakup kobe's bitter about breakup personal rift hurt and chanel is furious about cheating and bitter about breakup yes y'all breakup blues slipped through my fingers people person feeling regrets as he was telling another sim about it, Kobe truly realized how much he regrets breaking up with his former significant other. It seemed like the right thing to do at the time, but not so much now. Uh, not him not being able to take a shower in her house. Whatever. Cool. Organized to provide about the baby. All right, get out the get out the uh, bathtub so she doesn't kick you out. All right, y'all. So this is where I'm going to be ending the baby father POV, y'all. So yes, a lot of stuff happened in this baby father POV. I think that this is crazy, but she did let him back in. And he moved in with her. So they're going to be in this house until Chanel can find her own place. And then he's allowing her to stay in it for a little bit. Because he still somewhat cares about her. But the relationship is done. And he's going to try to be in this baby's life. Hopefully, even though he doesn't want the child, he's hopefully going to be in its life a little bit more than Peyton. So, all right, y'all. See y'all in the next episode. Bye.